For an update on the fixed income and forex markets here in Nigeria, Kingsley Okereke, Treasury and Fixed Income Dealer at Diamond Bank, joins me now. Thank you so much, Kingsley. It's a pleasure to have you. Good day to you. Thank you very much for having me. Let's start with uh, trading activities today. Bring us up to speed on uh, activities at the fixed income market. So where did we see yields today? Well, um, for the fixed income market, it was a bit of a slow pace. Uh, not much really happening. Um, the fixed income market has actually been tied to the NTB space. This actually occurred from the last um, primary market auction stop rate where we saw yields come out at 10% levels. So we saw um, for the past two weeks we've seen a bit of pressure, buying pressure exerted. But that slowed down last week and we saw a bit of reversal in yields. Um, basically, we've seen the um, OMO auctions being come out at 10.8 levels for the NTB space and that has dampened um, buying pressures in the fixed income space basically. So what we've been seeing is um, rather a swing between both sides. Uh, players are a bit apprehensive to take too much um, investment positions in the, the fixed income space with the kind of uh, uh, yields we are seeing and the risk factor also in Nigeria. So that has uh, been made the market a bit sluggish. So we've seen that at the short end of the market we've seen yields at um, 11.6 levels and at the longer end we've seen yields for the fixed income space at 12.55 um, levels there about for today. Now Kingsley, who's more wary at the moment, foreign or local investors? Well, uh, it's a mixture of both. It's a mixture of both. You know, we, we've had high system liquidity in time past. That liquidity has also helped create um, activities in the market. But as the liquidity begins to dwindle with uh, an aggressive uh, monetary policy tightening stance adopted by the Apex Bank, we've been seeing players shying a bit away from the market um, in that space. But because markets have also been yearning for higher yield of in, in on assets, so that has been able to um, really give a little bit of slowdown. Like today, we had a normal auction, uh, same uh, tenor that was issued as, as yesterday. Still came out at 10.8 uh, levels, uh, effective yield of 11.2, but they only sold half of what was offered. They offered 50 billion, they sold only 25 billion. So in that respect, it shows you that um, players actually yearning for higher yields, which is why CBN uh, did not sell as much as they hoped to have sold. So Even how, last how, week, is, how is that going to play out? On Wednesday. How is that going to play out if investors want higher yields and perhaps CBN is not willing to offer that just yet? What's going to give? Well, uh, at, at some point, CBM will have to balance, balance the risk versus reward. Basically, their, their major aim is price stability and sanity in the market. So they will look at what kind of premium they hope to pay over the level of liquidity. If they feel that the level of liquidity is good for them, they might just maintain it at current levels. Uh, also being that uh, the new CBN governor assumes office today, so everybody is just watching to see how uh, monetary policies will unfold in, in that light. All right, let's talk about uh, the Naira. I understand uh, the Naira got some support today from dollar sales from a local unit of a foreign company here, Chevron, uh, I suppose. Uh, what's been the trend at the RDAS uh, market in the last uh, three, four weeks? Have there been any sharp spikes? And what's been the average that the CBN has sold to banks? Well, basically, um, rates have been the same uh, on the RDAS. Uh, we've not seen much. We saw uh, the usual volume of 400 has been reduced to 300, basically. So um, we've been seeing about 250 there about being sold on the market. Rates have been relatively stable. Yesterday and today, we saw support from the oil majors coming into the market. Yesterday, we closed at uh, 160. 240 and today we also closed at 162.50. That's just a 10 cover depreciation on the Naira. But it's been relatively stable, nothing much, been hap nothing much happening because of the support we've rece received. And also with the expectation that NMPC will be coming into the market sometime in the week. So uh, players are uh, just watching to see and uh, holding off demand uh, with the, that expectation coming to play. So let's see how things unfold. But we don't expect much to happen. We expect the market to continue believe, being relatively stable at this level because it has always been the trend. Uh, this 162 uh, levels have been the trend most predominantly in May.
Yeah. But, but Kingsley, if the Naira is getting all the support, I mean, over 200 million US dollars sold at uh, the Art Dance, and if you said that it's come down to an average of around 400 to 300, that means that there isn't so much a demand pressure. We have NMPC flooding the market with dollars. We have the local units of these oil firms uh, giving uh, selling dollars also, and it's not even end of it's not exactly end of the month in a way, in the first week of June. So that's a lot yeah. of support for the Naira. Yeah. So I mean, shouldn't that be enough to strengthen it? Maybe back to 160, 161 levels. Well, you could see it strengthening. Definitely, you could see it strengthening. But as this supply pressure dries up, you expect demand to intensify and it will ramp back up to these 162 levels. Likely, yeah. But yeah, definitely, we expect the 161 levels to might likely happen, especially when the NMPC comes to play in the market. All right. Let's uh, just your quick uh, thoughts for trading tomorrow. Are we going to have a relatively quiet session like we had today? Uh, no, I don't expect trading to be relatively quiet. Uh, basically, um, we've been seeing, uh, as I said, we've been seeing the players being a bit apprehensive with the yield levels. Uh, we see a bit of bullishness, but after, afterwards, the bullishness dries up and people just take in profit because uh, people are still a bit skeptical on, on this level. It's only just on the uh, short term, which is the NTB space, that we've been seeing you know, the bullish trend being more sustainable because of the certainty in that space, you know, because uh, risk uh, factor is reduced significantly. And also, also to add this, um, we are likely seeing that the Eurozone might uh, do a bit of uh, uh, stimulus to their own economy, uh, looking at um, the deflationary factors that they've been facing, trying to encourage goods and stimulate um, prospects, more growth prospects in their own economy. So also we might see uh, that might also entice uh, the foreign portfolio investors to come and play more actively in our market. But let's see how things unfold because the ECB governor said that they are going to uh, use both uh, conventional and conventional means to try to stimulate their economy okay. just to ward off uh, any deflationary effect.